Mercedes C63 Coupe has many notable attributes, not the least of which is the fact that its small two-door body, which normally runs a 2.2-litre diesel motor, has a 480 horsepower 6.2-litre V8. That's 66 horsepower more than a BMW M3. But perhaps the C63's best boast is the relationship between that V8 and its rear tyres. You see, the C63 behind me has the power pack fitted, which gives it 480 horsepower, 368 foot-pounds of torque. They're big numbers. But the rear tyre is just 255 in section. That, to me, gives it an unprecedented amount of power to rubber. Let's think of it as a power to rubber ratio. It's the biggest in its class. In fact, outside of stuff like the 1,099 horsepower Koenigsegg Agera R, I can't think of a car that is better qualified to destroy its rear tires. So this is the C63 on absolutely standard tires. 18 inch rims, the rear tires are 255 sections, the fronts are 235s. So I've left the systems on now, okay? Getting oversteer everywhere. This is this is a Millbrook's handling track. It's quite famous actually because it's treacherous. You really don't want to be dropping a wheel off the side. And uh, yeah, there's not massive amounts of it. It's a concrete surface, which is quite harsh on the tyre. Piece you can see of having to make a fair few steering corrections. I have to say, but do you know what? In these conditions, this doesn't feel like it has an enormous amount of grip. We say mechanical grip, we mean tyre grip, because there is no aero grip in this car. Doesn't feel that grippy because the surface is a bit wet. What the hell is it going to be like when I put a one-two-five section tyre on it? The mind boggles. That's right, we're going to alter the power to rubber ratio even further in favour of that motor. These are space saver tyres that are supposed to be used to get you to the next garage after a puncture. In fact, these are special AMG versions that have vast spokes to clear those massive brake calipers. And so here we are, the change from 255 Two, one, two, five. Looks kind of slippy, doesn't it? Now there are two ways of looking at the choice little modification behind me. On the one hand, we can get the calculators out, go all geeky, and work out the exact increase in power to rubber ratio, or should that be decrease in rubber to power ratio? I can't work it out. Or on the other hand, we could do what my photographer Neil just said to me earlier. Well, hang on a minute. The one, two, five section space saver is about a third of the width of a normal tyre, a normal 255 section tyre, so that's about three times the horsepower, so let's say the car's got around 1200 horsepower. So what we have behind me is a C63 Coupe with 1200 horsepower, and that is a good thing. And so here we have it, this is the C63 AMG Coupe with power pack, 480 horsepower on 125 section tyres. What's it gonna be like? I've got manual, gearbox selected, I've got all the traction control off. So we'll dip it in here, Let's see what we get. Tires are at 60 psi, which feels quite a lot. So this is this right hander, sniffer throttle. So there we go. Oversteer immediately. Oh, 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 oh. This, this is marvellous. We have just invented possibly the greatest driving machine on the planet. The C63 Coupe on Space Savers is, well, it might just, <laughs> it might be the best handling car in the world. Oh, come on. This was the third gear last time. This time it's full lock stops. 
I got no traction in third, it just lights up. quite do all of that in one but oh the rest of it's just marvellous it's got a locking differential non-standard but you need it for this oh come on this is this is the best handling car I've driven in ages it just is so predictable oh this is just a joy it's a joy okay Initial impressions, if you're going to buy a C63, you need to have on space things. This is the bit where we get to discuss the moral of this brief tale as you watch some sexy slow-mo shot at 200 frames per second. A bit like they did at the end of He-Man, but here you get a great big V8. So is there anything serious to be learned from bunging an AMG onto pathetically small tyres and pulling big drifts? Actually, you know what there is? Modern sports cars are now so obsessed with lap times and circuit performance that at normal road speeds they're mostly boring because they never come close to moving around making the driver work. OK, a 125 section is excessive, but this does prove that narrower tyres equal fun. And on the street, fun is better than speed. <laughs>